This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. This is another follow up to a story that I covered last year. When I went to this scene in Warsaw Town Centre where Bailey Atkinson who was 21 years old was stabbed to death. There was a large police cordon. There was also a lot of locals and a lot of flowers and tributes that had been paid to him. He meant a lot to a lot of people. There was also video footage that had emerged that Scar City would never show, which actually showed the last moments of Bailey when he was attacked. And this was very brutal. He was attacked by nine people who were armed with Rambos and machetes, and he was killed on his own in the middle of this marketplace. More details have now emerged, and they pieced together the CCTV of the moments that led up to Bailey being murdered. They've also said in court some of his last words that were said to a police officer. He told him when he was lying on the street that I'm going to die, tell my mother I love her. Bailey was given open heart surgery in the middle of the street, but he'd suffered multiple stab wounds to his back, arms and legs, and sadly, nothing could be done to save him. Bailey had moved to Warsaw from Coventry two years before to escape a gang lifestyle, but sadly he became embroiled in Warsaw's own warring groups. On the 27th of January 2023, Bailey was out with a female friend. A taxi had dropped them off in Warsaw Town Centre and they were walking through the marketplace. This is when a car was caught on CCTV swerving towards them. Bailey told his friend to run as he also ran along the high street. There were two cars in convoy, a Toyota Verso and a Seat Leon. Both had been stolen in the previous days. There were nine people inside both the vehicles and they had met up shortly before at a supermarket car park before they drove into the town centre looking for Bailey. It's thought they sought him in retaliation for an attack on the brother of one of their group two months before. They caught Bailey and cornered him on Lower Hall Lane and drove at him. Bailey managed to escape, but the car circled and caught up with him again along the high street. Six of the occupants got out and attacked Bailey with machetes and zombie knives. Bailey didn't stand a chance, it was heard in court. His attackers got back in the car and left him lying on the floor. One of them tried to take a photo of him, but there was locals that were screaming and trying to draw attention to it, and they chose not to. All occupants of the car made off down Slater Street into Wolverhampton, where the cars were found burnt out just minutes after the murder. Police had arrived at Bailey's side in less than five minutes and they began CPR, but sadly he was pronounced dead at hospital a short time later. As you can see there, people, buskers still doing what they do and people still going about their day-to-day -day lives. This is the third cordon and flowers are already being placed at the scene. Detectives started a meticulous investigation, examining hours of CCTV and mobile phone evidence and plotting each of the defendants' movements that led up to their part in Bailey's murder. On the 21st of March 2024, after a 10-week trial at Nottingham Crown Court, seven teenagers who were aged between 15 and 18 at the time of the attacks have been found guilty of Bailey's murder. Benjamin Wilkes, 18 years old from Blockswich, Patrick Brooks, 18 years old from Warsaw, Sonny Loveridge from Blockswich and Ronan McCulloch from Blockswich. Three other teenagers aged 17 years old were convicted and could not be named for legal reasons. Two other defendants were also found not guilty after trial. The detective in charge of the case, Jim Mahan from the Forces Homicide Unit, said watching the footage of the young man dying, asking for a message to be passed to his mother, is something that has haunted my investigation team. This attack is one of the most shocking he had ever seen in his career as a police officer and Bailey was unarmed on that night and he was just walking through the town centre. This was a planned attack and the group had stolen cars and tried to use their vehicles to seriously injure Bailey. During the investigation, they made a total of 16 arrests and they conducted 12 manhunts that led them across the country to arrest the suspects. So all seven of these will be sentenced very soon in the future and most of them are going to be looking at the rest of their lives, adult lives, in prison. And it really does highlight the reality of what occurred that night and also how easy it is to get caught up in this sort of violence where nine people can think that it's okay to attack one person. 
So I really appreciate you joining me and following me for this story for the past year. I want to send my condolences to Bailey Atkinson's family. And please don't forget to pay your respects in the comments below. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. And please don't forget to follow on social media as well. At Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. Peace.